Hi, Sophie Watson here, helping corporate and entrepreneurial women to get back in control of stress and anxiety. So do you constantly find yourself giving your time and energy to people who do not respect you? To the people that don't thank you for anything that you do? Are you maybe continuing to stay late at work and not getting anything back in return for it? Are you, is that actually, is that's probably having a big effect on your life. Staying late and continuing to work to get stuff done, but actually not getting any recognition for it or not getting any time back. Now, you have a time in which you finish work. So why not finish at that time? Now, you're still going to get the stuff done. Okay, it may be tomorrow, but is anyone going to die because you haven't done it that day? The thing is, when you take something away from someone, they start to respect it a bit more. They start to appreciate what you actually do for them more. So if you suddenly stop doing something, they're going to say, oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't have, maybe I should have treated them a bit better. So I'll give you an example of this. This, this is something that happened when I was probably about 12. So um, my mum hated ironing um she always hated doing it the the ironing basket was always always full and that was a past time she, she could have been doing something better with her time but what she used to do she used to do the washing and then she'd iron it and then she'd leave a pile of clothes for me which were obviously my clothes to put away but instead of me hanging them up and putting them away nicely, I'd just throw them in my wardrobe and they'd be at the bottom of my wardrobe. And she saw this and she warned me a few times. She said, if I catch you doing it again, you'll have to start ironing and washing your own clothes. So I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Being 12, wasn't really that fussed. And I did it again. And so she actually stopped doing my washing and my ironing for me. I had to start doing it myself. So then I started to appreciate the fact that it took time. Mum hated ironing. So why would she want to do something when she was getting no appreciation for it? I was literally just flunging it in the cupboard. So have a think about it. What are you continually, continually doing that you're not getting any respect for, you're not getting any thanks for, you're basically doing something that somebody else could either do or maybe nobody else can do it, but you're not getting the respect that you need from it. So have a think about that and have a real good think about it and see what you what solutions you can come up with you don't have to stay late at work. You don't actually have to do that. You choose to do that. You don't have to sit and work for your lunch break. You choose to do that. Okay, this is all about choices that you make. You are the one that can start making these choices, making better choices for yourself. So take back your power because you have that power. You are just giving it away constantly. You can say no to people. You can go home on time. You can go and have your lunch. And it's important that you go and have your lunch break because that is your time. It's your time to regroup. It's your time to get some fresh air, to eat rather than sitting there and focusing constantly on what you're doing. Because actually, when you have your lunch straight bake, you are more productive when you go back in. When you have those breaks, you're more productive. So take the time for you, because you can't carry on doing that, because your, your work's going to suffer for it. You're going to be much more appreciated, your work's going to be more appreciated, if you are in a good state, if you are being productive. But at the moment, you're not being productive. So have a think about that. Your task 
is to work out where you need to be saying no, but also where are you, where is that respect lacking from other people? And in order for you to respect yourself more, you need to be taking that time back. You need to stop doing those things that you that is using your energy up and you're not getting the respect back for. Comment and share, like, share this with people so that more people can actually start to think about what they are doing and how they're behaving. Let me know how you get on. Take care. I hope you find those tips helpful. Uh, now, if you are a woman working in the corporate or entrepreneurial world and you would like a bit of help um, to get back in control of stress and anxiety, then please head along to my website. On there, you can register for a free session with myself. You just need to complete the box on the home page, submit your details, and Rachel, who is my diary manager, or myself, will be in contact with you as soon as possible to book you in. Now, the session's an hour long, and it can be via Skype or in person. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, we can do this session. So just go along, complete your details and submit it and I'll be in contact with you as soon as possible. The website you need to visit is www.sophiewatson-therapy.com.